Luca chapter 2. Now it was in those days there went out a decree from Caesar Augusto that all the inhabited earth should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment made when Quirinius was governor of Ram. And all went to enroll themselves, every one to his own city. And Yosef also went up from Galila, out of the city of Nathret, into Judea, to the city of Dawid, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of Dawid, to enroll himself with Maryam, who was betrothed to him, being great with child. And it became, while they were there, the days of her giving birth were fulfilled, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a feeding trough, because there was no room for them in the guest chamber. And there were shepherds in the same country abiding in the field, and keeping the watches of the night over their flock. And a messenger of Lord Yahweh stood by them, and the glory of Lord Yahweh shone round about them, and they were very afraid. And the messenger said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all the people. For there is born to you this day in the city of Dawi the Saviour, who is anointed the Lord. And this is the sign to you, ye shall find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a feeding trough. And suddenly there was with the messenger a multitude of the skyly host praising the God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men of his good pleasure. And it was, when the messengers went away from them into the sky, the shepherds said, one to another, We should go at once, as far as Bethlehem, and see this thing that is become, which the Lord Yahweh hath made known to us. And they came with haste, and found both Maryam and Yosef, and the baby lying in the feeding trough. And when they saw it, they made known concerning the saying which was spoken to them about this child. And all that heard it wondered at the things which were spoken to them by the shepherds. But Maryam kept all these sayings, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising the God for all the things that they had heard and seen, even as it was spoken to them. And when eight days were fulfilled for circumcising him, his name was called Yeshua which was so called by the messenger before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of their purification, according to the law of Moshe, were fulfilled, they brought him up to Yerushalem to present him to the Lord Yahweh, as it is written in the law of Lord Yahweh. Every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord Yahweh, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of Lord Yahweh, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Yerushalem whose name was Shum'on, 
And this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Yisrael, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen Lord Yahweh's anointed. And he came by means of the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Yeshua, that they might do concerning him after the custom of the law, then he received him into his arms, and blessed the God, and said, Now art thou dismissing thy bondservant, O Master, according to thy word, in peace. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light for revelation to the nations, and the glory of thy people, Yisrael. And his father and his mother were marvelling at the things which were spoken concerning him. And Shum'on blessed them, and said to Maryam his mother, Behold, this child is set for the falling and the rising of many in Yisrael, and for a sign which is spoken against. Yea, and a sword shall pierce through thy own soul, that thoughts out of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one Hannah, a prophetess, the daughter of Penuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with a husband seven years from her virginity. And she had been a widow even to eighty and four years, who departed not from the temple, worshipping with fastings and supplications night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she gave thanks to the God, and spoke of him to all them that were looking for the redemption of Yerushalem. And when they had accomplished all things that were according to the law of Lord Yahweh, they returned into Galilah to their own city, Nathret. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. And his parents went every year to Yerushalem at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days, as they were returning, the boy Yeshua tarried behind in Yerushalem, and his parents knew it not. But supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey, and they sought for him among their kinsfolk and acquaintances. And when they found him not, they returned to Yerushalem seeking for him. And it was after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Child, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I sought thee sorrowing. And he said to them, How is it that ye sought me? Knew ye not that I must be in the things of my father? And they understood not the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them, and came to Nathareth, and he was subject to them, and his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. 
and Yeshua advanced in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men.